Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Abaddon 3. Last episode, we finally met with the Shades at the border of the Corruption and discovered what had happened. Miranda died in the Corruption, but her will was so strong that she actually managed to push it outwards in an effort for vengeance. And the Corruption can't get rid of her, so it wants us to go and deal with it. We did speak with a few people, and we found out that where we need to go is Monitor Base C, where we've been once before. I guess it fell. So we're going to do just that. First, though, one other thing to do. And that is, there's a rebel out here that we need to kill. Located up here, over in this ruined tower. Fortunately, we'll be able to get to it no idea if there's still people out here. Yep, there are. We're not going to go anywhere close to them right now. But yes, where we need to go is up to this tower. We investigated it once before. This tower that I believe was once a tannery. But we couldn't find any information. Now we will. She's going to be very dangerous because she clouds mines. Oh boy. When you enter the small door storeroom, you feel dizzy. Seems like simple fatigue at first, but you aren't fooled. Someone nearby is using mental magic on you, leaving you confused. The feeling soon passes. You know that Emery didn't lead you wrong. Ilse is here somewhere. You search the closet carefully. Then you do it again. It takes time, but you finally detect the illusion. It's a whole south wall. It looks and feels solid. It's only when you close your eyes and try to walk through it that your brain shakes off the spell. Well, there we go. Now we need to deal with her. This will not be easy. I know it. Mental magic is a bitch. Oh boy, something's going to happen here. You round the corner and find yourself facing Ilse. She's set up in a nice bedroom up here in this abandoned trapper's home, though you aren't sure how much of what you are seeing is real. Or come to think of it, if Elsie is real. The Elsie you are looking at says, I was waiting for Avedon to find me. After you are dead, I will take your face and name. Then I will travel to Neus safely. Maybe I'll even visit your loved ones. You try to negotiate with her, but she isn't listening. Prepare to die, Hand. I don't care what your thoughts are. It doesn't matter. Soon your mind will be gone forever. Heartstop Wraith. Alright. Probably should have summoned something, so I'll summon it now. Hellhound! And Searing Spray. Of course, it's immune to the acid. Okay. Battle Charge. That did a lot of damage. You can cone a fire. So I'm going to say, do that. That worked effectively. You poison mist. Yeah, it was immune to that. And you, lightning wind. That's dead. Ilse is getting weak, but again, it's probably an illusion. This is going too easy. Her Ilse collapses to the ground and dies. Her illusions fade away. The decor remains the same. I guess that her bedroom really was that nice. Another rebel and a particularly nasty one at that has fallen to the might of Avedon. Really? It was that easy? Wow. <laughs> Stabby Sash? Wow. That... <laughs> that is a thing. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to give that to uh, Kalita or uh, or Botan, I believe his name was. Stabby Sash. Uh. Oh, quick way back. Why was that fight so easy? Was it those heart stop 
uh, shades or something that was a thing? I don't know. Whatever. We finished. We won. Very easily. We can go and report in. First things first, I'm going to drop off all these rune stones I have. I feel like I may have missed out on a special item somewhere, but, meh, too late now. If I did, someone please let me know. I would like to know. Alright. Let's move on. Drop off all the rune stones where they go. Right over here. Drop off, drop off, drop off, drop off, and drop off. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff. I've got three deep rune stones and two icy rune stones. Plus a whole bunch of the other ones that I don't ever use. Alright. Alright, first things first. We'll go report into Redbeard. See if he has anything to say. Yes, I'm ready to leave. Uh, yes, I'm south. No, no, not the rotting border. Wrong location. It's not what I meant. I meant to go Green Refuge. There we are. Interesting that it's actually located right out of right outside Avedon there. Hmm. No matter. Okay, I'm giving this to Kalida. Definitely. Uh that amuses me. Also we need to report into the commander here. Commander Dennis, I found the Ilse the Rebel, then I defeated her. You tell Dennis a story. He is truly impressed. The illusions, the charms, my nightmare is fighting someone like her. Laws and honor are useless when another can simply take your control away. He presents you with a fine leather belt and a sack of silver coins. An adequate bounty, I hope, for a valuable service. I'd like to keep hunting rebels. I am glad. There is one more rebel on the loose who might be hated enough to disrupt the peace. I'm trying to find him. Come back later and I might have a mission. Understood. Thank you. Uh, need any more sh samples? No. Okay, thank you for your time. Now, let us go speak with Redbeard. See if he has anything more to say about what's going on. In we go. We'll also check in with the crystal, I suppose. You approach Redbeard. As usual, he is staring down at the field of maps and reports on the table in front of him in front of them. He is perfectly still, lost in thought. So lost, in fact, that he doesn't notice your arrival. You wait. He still isn't responding. He just stares fixedly at one report from the field. The only sign of movement is a constant trembling in his hands. You seem unwell. You speak. He doesn't respond. He just keeps staring. You keep waiting. You look at the nearby guards. They don't meet your gaze. Redbeard? Finally, you get a reaction from the Keeper of Avedon. Rage. His head jerks around to look at you. His gaze is wild. What are you doing lurking there? Sneaking up on me? Spying? Do you know how dangerous that is? The guards desperately wish they were somewhere else. I didn't... When you start to speak, he says, Silence! He stares at you, breathing heavily. Then he manages to calm down a little. His hands are still shaking, though. It is unwise to sneak up on a Keeper of Avedon. You might get the wrong idea. You think I am unwell. You are wrong. I only want to help. And you will help by following orders. Otherwise, you will be silent. He looks down at the papers, and then he shoves them aside. What did you want? Uh, what should I do with Miranda if I find her? He doesn't know. Very well, then. I apologize for the disruption. Nothing to say to that guy. I doubt there's going to be anything from the crystal, but let's check anyway. When you return to the Delis crystal, it immediately flashes to life. Delis's voice is surprisingly animated. 
You are in the wheel room. I know this. You have been to the corruption. You know who is causing the problems. You're not going to trick me into telling you anything. Then be silent. It is Hart Miranda, Avedon's greatest traitor. Redbeard's greatest failure. She is dead, but her spirit remains. What a powerful person she was. Is. I only knew her a short time. How did you know her? She spent many years hating Redbeard, a traitor in her heart. Only I detected it. I'm the one who came to her. I convinced her to join me. She enabled me to sack Avedon. This distracted Redbeard and the Pact, enabling me to enact my plan. I could never have started this war without her. She was a true hero. It is a glorious secret story. What did you know about her? I know she was a traitor. Yes, a traitor against mad leaders and cruel oppression. The best kind of traitor. Whatever you think of her now, there is something I must say. Do you want me to save her? Oh, no. She is dead and gone. Only a malevolent shade remains. It must be removed. That isn't what's important. Fine. What do you want to say? Redbeard didn't detect Miranda's sabotage until it was too late. Even at the height of his powers, she shattered the Black Fortress, and he was unaware. He is far weaker now. Redbeard is not a god. By now, do you have any doubts about Redbeard? If so, he is unaware. If you want to unseat him, he is weak. But Miranda was caught and destroyed. Not by Redbeard, but by loyal hands like you. If those hands had attacked Redbeard instead, we would all be free of his madness. You have the same opportunity. You can get rid of him before he goes mad and gets rid of... You expect more, but the crystal g abruptly goes dark. Hmm. I am concerned about Redbeard and the way he's been acting, but... We're just going to keep aware... Wary. Right now, our only goal is end the war. Then we can deal with whatever the hell is going with Redbeard. As you walk through the camp, you find that Kalita is blocking the path. She approaches to speak with you in her trademark low-key style. Gabriel, I need a minute of your time. What is it? Thank you for your time, Gabriel. I need to speak with you about the camp we found. The deserter camp, I assume. Yes, who could forget that pack of craven traitors near Camaria? I'm glad you've been thinking about it, too. Now that you are reminded, perhaps we can take ca action. What do you want to do? The army does nothing. Avedon nothing. Redbeard certainly finds it beneath his notice. That means his hands it is, that it is our responsibility. We need to crush these blatant lawbreakers. Law what would Redbeard think about this? Who can tell? Maybe he would think we were wasting time. Maybe he would think us, thank us for doing what he was too distracted and confused to do. The important thing is that it is our duty. I will be at my camp. Please come speak with me when you are ready to act. Okay. I guess we may have it. And Selena leveled up. A point in endurance, and... There, now we have temporal pylon. Oh wait, she leveled up again. Oh no, I... I don't know. I guess I didn't click right. All right, Kalita. Let us speak. Let's talk about the deserter camp. All right. After all the mystery, I will provide no surprises. The camp is full of deserters. The law says that deserters will be put to death. We are Hands of Avedon. We swore to uphold that law. I simply wish to carry it out. Redbeard doesn't want us to worry about laws, only war. Yet I will uphold my oath. You think this will upset Redbeard? Oh, yes. I think he will be angry at me for doing what is right. Then he will notice me. He will remember how I was treated and see how... I may have strong feelings about this. Forget that. Let's just focus on laws. Very well. I will help you. Then there is little else to say. We need to spare some time to journey back to Vanna's Reach. Based on the state of their defenses, it should be quick, unchallenging work. Somehow, I doubt that. <sighs> Belt of Battle. Someone gave that to us. Melee damage and critical hit chance. I think that's better than this. We'll give the belt. We'll give the scorched girdle to. Actually, we'll give it to you. 
Yeah, I think that works. Okay, so moving on. We'll sell this stuff we got. There's actually something I'm curious about somewhere. Okay, first, I may as well sell those cheat things. Okay, Kalita and someone who picks locks. Someone who picks locks. How about Botan? We're going to be running and not defending, so sure. Let's take him. But before I do, I'm curious. I want to go to Vanitox Stead and speak with uh, someone over here. I'm curious if maybe we can get those plants that that one guy is looking for from over here. It's possible. Unlikely, but possible. Alright, Magda... No. I guess not. Darn. So then where do we go to complete that, uh, quest? The True Love's First Gifts one. I don't know. I don't know who we're supposed to go to, or where we're supposed to go to. Not for that. Fa. Uh, anyway... You'd think we'd get something in, uh, in the Green Refuge, but nope. Right, head up. Yes. Vanna's Reach is where we have to go to. Oh, boy. Yeah. Trupo's Outpost. Oh, boy. Uh, Kalita, I understand your desire to keep the law, the law, but, I mean, you're part of the Kva, but there are bigger problems right now. Oh, this is going to be a bother. The thing is, though, I only have, like, ten minutes left, and I feel like this is going to take, like, a full episode to do, and I don't really want to. Uh, I guess, at the very least, we can walk up the... You return to the fortification. Doria is still on guard, flanked by your turrets. She is not pleased by your return. You approach carefully, trying to plan the safest approach. Then Kalita blows it. She walks up to Doria, draws her sword, points it at her, and says, Justice has come to you at last, scum. Kalita, what are you doing? She looks over her shoulder at you. I have had justice stolen from me too many times. This time I will make sure Avedon doesn't stop me from doing what is right. Um, what she said, I guess. Kalita nods and steps forward, ready to kill. Doria drops to her knees in response. Please, I beg you, spare me. Why should you be spared? I am not a deserter, I am not a brigand, I am only a simple refugee. My lands were taken by the Tawan. I had to flee or be conscripted. Or worse, I had no choice. Botan shakes his head. Her words have the ring of truth, and I don't mind killing one less person today. What do you think, Kalita? I don't care about this insect. Decide quickly before the others flee. Return to your home and do your duty to the pact. I... It is not so simple, but if that is what I must do to live, I will do so. I will kill the Tawan and pay for your mercy. To pay for your mercy. She rises, bows, and moves off. Very quickly. Okay. And then it's just going to be a raid. Well... So much for that guard. This is going to be interesting to get through. It's probably going to be a fight as soon as we step inside. Is it? Yep, it is. Okay, I guess we're killing this group. Oh boy. Yeah, kill them all, I guess. He's running. And we're dealing with corruption now.
They're all running. Right, get out of the burning goo. She died from the burning goo. Still a couple guards here, but it's a lot of damage. We may have some depths here. And we lost someone. We don't have much choice now. I guess maybe we can actually get through a lot of this. But really, I feel like this is something we'll be doing in the next episode. Once this one's dead, I'm going to end the episode. So that happened. Next episode, we'll uh, we'll actually head through the fortress, through this place itself, and I guess we'll be killing everyone. I do not. I am not pleased by this kind of stuff that happens, but it happens. So, shorter episode. Next episode. We'll clear out Trupo's outpost. Till then, I'm Chesuk44. That is Gabriel, Kalita, and Botan. This has been an Avidon 3 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.